Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second session. Let me know if you look at my screen. So I am at my GitHub account page. So do you see my GitHub account? And then I will be sure that you see my screen. Great. So I saw already a comment. So everybody is looking at my GitHub. So the second session is going to be all about Git and GitHub. So when we when we talk about uh, GitHub, it's like a platform, a website which you can store your codes. As you can see, I have 196 repositories. Some of might be private and some might be public. Since I am the owner of this uh, GitHub account, I can access all of them. Maybe you don't see 196, but you may see a few of them because uh, some of the uh, private might not be seen uh, for public and different Git repositories, as you can see, this is the famous 30 days of JavaScript and it has 5.1 stars. And you can even give me a star or this. That means if you give it a star, that means you will see it. It will be your favorite and you will see it on your GitHub account easily. It will be in your favorite list. So if you follow me also, just if there might be some button somewhere. If you click follow, that means you can see what I do. Whenever I commit uh, you something you see, or when I publish something, you will be able to see what my activities so easily. Yeah. So, and this, as you can see, the different commits. For instance, did I commit today? What's the day today? I think that's today's 18, right? January 18, let's see. Uh, January 18, did I commit today? Yeah, I commit yesterday night, but anyway, yesterday night might be considered as uh, almost uh, today, yes. Okay, so uh, this is the GitHub. So I need everybody to create a GitHub account, uh, account and then you create a repository, creating a repository so easy like this. And then you just create whatever test and then you can make it public or private, whatever you want, just make it public guys. So it's, it doesn't matter. I will come back to this later or I can create this right now, but I will do this later, okay? So now we've been doing this. Uh, we have been learning uh, command line, how to use this uh, the command line, the git bash, and I want to destroy everything I have. So now remove uh, CD. Uh, uh, you don't have to destroy. So CD, where am I now? I go to the actually the desktop and remove and RF git lesson so i told you that this is very powerful so it removes everything uh, git lesson the git lesson folder and everything it has so i destroyed it as you can see now i don't have any git lesson okay great so I taught you how to use this one, but I may not work that much because the VS code is so smart. So I, do, I don't have to maybe, I, it's just sometimes I may use it when it's needed, but I think VS code is pretty enough. So let's, and this is something we have been creating. So now let's create any folder we want. I can call it uh, maybe git lesson. Git lesson and yeah, it's create a folder, git lesson. Okay, and open the VS code. Click on this, add. If you have other files, there might be this X to close, 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 close by clicking the X and then add. And then you go to the desktop and then git lesson here. I opened it. 
yeah if you have, if you have seen here when you just drag this let me just have you seen here surface drag it open for you actually nice the terminal have you seen you can open the terminal like this or you can open the terminal right click open integrated terminal any way you want the same again i can close yeah you can destroy it with this oh and you can open it with this or you can just open it with this can okay. i ask you how can you change the um uh output uh like that colorful that's um easier to follow in the terminal uh, i think this is a specific interface yeah for there are uh, there is a way to make uh, the mac terminal uh, colorful but uh, we are not going to uh, install some tool to make it colorful but for windows the git bash is colorful like this by default it doesn't open the git bash for me it's like the windows command i, I will come i will come to you uh, later uh kirsi yeah. uh kirsi for uh, this yes. uh, am i talking to kirsi right yes uh so this this colorful uh thing is just by default i didn't add anything yeah i have mac so because for mac also yeah. it's possible to make it colorful but you have to add additional uh, command after the lesson i will send yeah. you some some uh, commands to add on your mac okay thanks it will start uh, becoming colorful yeah because it's easier to follow and read when yes it, yes yeah. yeah thank you uh, but i think let's just maybe i think i can we can fix that maybe now uh, let's see let me search. Uh, this is uh, how to make a Mac OS terminal colorful. Have you seen? Uh, you sh so I think I can go for the first. Stack Overflow is the best place to get lots of code, okay? Stack Overflow should be your best home. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, someone asked here, what was the question? Operating system external colors, something, whatever. I am new to operating system this, having just gotten a Mac after working with Ubuntu Linux for some time. Among the many things I am trying to figure out is the absence of colors in my terminal window. So, it's so dull and boring, the, this, the default Mac terminal. So I think, do you know how to open the bash terminal? This. And then after you open the bash, and if you add this line on the bash, it will help you to, uh, yeah, there are lots of this configs. Then after you add, it will be something like this. Have you seen the effect? Excuse me. Have you seen the result after applying? So it all looks like this somehow. Okay. Uh, I think I have to share this link with you and you may make uh, use of that maybe because it may take us long time to deal on that and okay. So, but it's possible to change the Mac terminal uh, somehow colorful. So everybody, Let's make a file. I call this file index.h. Oh, yeah. Someone asked me a question. What was the question? Yes, I don't have the git bash terminal down. I got the Windows uh, command. So you don't have git bash? I got git bash, but when I open VS Code, mm -hmm. I don't like you. You use it uh, Git Bash, but me is uh, the the Windows command. Oh, okay, got you. Can you can you switch it? Yes, got you. Yeah. So let's try that one. Let, have you seen this? Some kind of a let. Yes. Configure, can you see configure terminals? Yes. And can you click that? Yes. 
are already there. And to and, start. Yeah. I think you can have a, an option to choose. Have you seen this? I think in my case, uh, uh, let me try here. Something stuck. Mm -hmm. It bash. Okay. And let me close that one. We have two. Have you? Yeah. Okay. Great. So this is good. Uh, have you seen this? Yes. So, yeah. So if you click that, this not that one. Sorry. Uh, this the second one. Select default shell. Select default shelter. Oh man. Hopla. Have you seen it? Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Because I get like, I open more than ha. <laughs> then I click so everything is not possible. You can. And read. then select <laughs> git bash. You okay. Uh, select default shell. Yes. Uh, select default shell, and then you can see. Command prompt, window PowerShell. Yes, and, and git bash. And git bash. Yes. I had the same problem. Yeah. Yeah, so me too. Then fix it now. So what are you doing? I don't understand. What, what is the problem? The problem is he was working with the, the command prompt instead of git bash. And this is a window problem. It's not a Mac problem. Oh, OK. So guys, you should be, I mean, you should understand what problem is it? Is it a Mac problem or the, so uh, yeah, so this is a window problem and uh, you can fix by selecting this one. Now you are using bash. Great. And doesn't work for me. Maybe you can have a look at my screen. No, why it doesn't work? You just you go there. Because it doesn't say batch, it says PowerShell. It so it says command prompt, window PowerShell. No, no, but it does not say first batch. It says PowerShell at the that drop down menu where you have batch. It says PowerShell. Is that the problem, uh, maybe? So there is no uh, a git bash you don't have? Yeah, yeah I do. But the, point, the step before uh, in the lower window, let me go down again. Yeah, this, this says PowerShell. Yeah, listen to me, Carola. Yeah. Because it's the reason why we select this one is to bring it here. Okay. So, so select default shell yeah. and then. Uh, yeah, do you have this? Yes. And click the here. I did. Yeah, then it should come here. You have to create a no. new one and to delete the first one. You have to create like a, a new page and you create like a gift of a gift uh, page and after you have to delete the first. How do, do I make yeah. it? Do you have this? Uh, have you seen this? this yes. Page? Yeah, delete it. Delete. Okay. And then let's and then open, open again. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Have you seen how I do? Now it's bad. Yes. Now it's bad and it's on Git. Okay. Good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Great. So now, as, I, as you can see, we can, uh, wait, wait, I can't open it, but uh, we can, oh, it's a bit stuck. Let's, I have to give it some time, maybe. Uh, now keep, please. Uh, too much work on my computer. Because I don't like to close it. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter. I have to uh, open it again. So it doesn't take that much long. Uh, VS Code. Actually, it's open already there. And then I have already since that's open, so I can open the terminal by just like this. So we have this index.html. And uh, when we write uh, 
HTML. So we need uh, this uh, doc type, something like this, and HTML, and head, something like this, and title. The title goes here, my title, something like this, right? And the body goes here, and this is the content of the website. But today I will show you the lazy way of doing this, creating this, yeah? Because now you know how to. Uh, you have this, the declaration, the parent element, and then you need the head, and you need uh, what? You need the... Uh, what is this called? The body. Okay, great. But since if you know, I want you to write a bit faster, HTML, and then go select the second one. It generates for you. Uh, I will show you again, HTML, and then go to the second one and enter. Did you say add like in an email address? What? what did you en type in? Enter. Enter and then HTML. No, first HTML, just you write HTML. Okay. And then this one you select, this even just select. Oh, okay. Yeah, so for now, since uh, it's uh, this one actually a meta tag, so it allows to uh, read different uh, languages, UTF-8 and different Unicode. So this is a meta tag, and this is for responsiveness for uh, device. As you can see, the widths equal to device widths and initial scale is equal to one. That means 100%. If it's a mobile, it fits to the mobile. If it's a screen, a bigger screen, it fits to the screen. It's, it's one way of making a responsiveness, but this line only can't make it responsive. So I just explained to you already. So this goes to my title, yeah? Then uh, again, the meta tags, we will add Another meta tag we may add here actually is going to be the, uh, what is this? Uh, the search engine optimization. But today our lesson is more into the Git and we will talk about the other in another day. Okay, H1, let's try it here. Let's have some text here. Now, this is what I have. So I have that, I hope you should have that. So let us see here. So I will show you different uh, commands and the command we are going to talk about, uh, the command we are going to talk about, git init, uh, no, git status, git log, uh, git add and file name, git add dot this and git commit followed by a message and the name of the message, uh, message here. And then we talk about git add remote origin, uh, git add remote origin and the remote repo repo the url and then git push u origin master these are the commands which we are going to talk about today and then after that even we go git branch and the name of uh, branch name branch name and also we see what branch git branch give us and then maybe git merge and maybe git pull all this we may see i can just share this with you on the uh, what i was trying to cut this cut them 
and share with you. Yeah. So now let's start by writing here what git status. Oh, what does that mean, git status? Guys. You didn't get that you copy pasted. Hmm? Did you copy paste that to that chat? Yes, I did. I I didn't have anything. Oh, it, I didn't? Me, me neither. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay, so if if you if some of you have by default if this came uh, uh, by default if this the other someone asked me when I selected git bash cmd come by default if this the cmd by default no you can just go select and then git bash and fix it and if that doesn't work you can work separately you can uh, work. You can go CD, desktop, and CD and git lesson. Yeah, you can work here separately, but it's hard. You should, well, I mean, you should switch from uh, this to the VS Code now and then, and that's tiring. So this is just the terminal connected on the VS Code. Great. Have you seen this? Git status, when, what does that mean git status? Actually, this git control different versions. So once if you git init your project, that means you will be able to track the change. You can copy a snapshot of your project at some point in time. What, what does that really mean? Because this is a bit complicated concept. So. Uh, let's see what we have. I, I, I think everything is in the other folder. It seems here, right? And we should have, we don't need this for the time being. And let's go to the definition of this git. Uh, not git lesson and this one. It says git is a version control tool. So it allow us to control a different version. What does that control means? Yeah, to store different backup, different version as a backup. That is in other way or the other, I mean, you may need to use a Git or GitHub. If you are a developer in one way or the other, you will use it. You need to use Git and GitHub either to store your projects on the cloud or collaborate with your team. Some of you are in Japan, right? And some of you might be in Germany or maybe in Denmark, wherever you could be. We can work on the same project. Yeah, by just collaborating on GitHub. We will come to that later. How? So that's not yet. So if I try to explain that, it's maybe you can consider it a Google Doc, but it's a bit different. A version control is a means of recording changes to a file or set of files over time. So you can recall the specific versions later. Yeah. So you will have a chance to re, I mean, to, uh, uh, I mean, to restore the different versions. So when I write git status, it says, Fatal, no a Git repository or any of the parent directories. This is not a Git repository yet. So I should use Git init. That means I am initializing this project. After this, I can take a snapshot of this project. That means I can have a backup of this I can read like the way I did uh, the cover letter. If you remember, I was resaving the uh, cover letter, the uh, application with different names. So, did in it now initialized empty Git repository. It is not initialized. So now let's begin Git status. Git status is just to check. 
Git is so smart and it tells you what to do next. Git starts on branch master. And some of you asked me, how can I remove this, the master? I see it, this master all the time. <laughs> of course you should see it because now you are at the master. Master means the original, the main. And at some point we will have different branch. If I create a branch, and if I switch to that branch, you will that branch instead of master. And we will come to that later. No commits yet. That means we didn't commit. Commit means actually saving. Or instead of saving, I could call it uh, uh, save as. So untracked files, git add file. So yeah, it's really helping me. Git add and the name of? the file. What's the name of the file you see here, guys? Just help me out. Is it git lesson? No. No? Yeah. What's the file? Because you can see even here something highlighted. Index. Oh, index. 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 HTML. Yeah, now let's do git status. Something changed, right? Now it's green. So what it's, if you do not want to commit, you can use this, this, as you can see, this, if you, if I use git, remove, cached, and the file name index, and git status, I was about to commit it, but if I change my mind not to, uh, commit it, I can use this code and get it back. So actually commit in this case, you can uh, make analogy of uh, save us or save. But git add again index and git status. As you can see, it's green, git commit. Now I am about to commit it. Uh, so I call it first commit. Yeah, so we managed to save our commit, our first commit. And then I go to GitHub and let's create a repo. And I call this git lesson. I'm, there might be a git lesson already. Oh, there is, but then I'm not sure if I need that git lesson, but I can call it uh, a git lesson winter. Oh. Yes. Is it winter? Yes, it's winter for sure. Um, and then enter. Just it, it create for me. Did I tell you that the second step is git add remote origin what, what am I doing actually? So git remote at origin and I have to, or you can just copy this line, okay guys? And paste it there. But since I wrote most of the, the part, I take this. Uh, origin could be any name, but it's common to use. I can call it whatever and paste it. What I'm doing is actually, I'm connecting this machine, my computer to this git repo the remote Git repo. The remote means this. So this Git repo and the local repo are now connected. Uh, but it says that pass remote did not match any file. What? Maybe I think I made some typo or something. So what I can do, I just get this copy. Copy is nice, right? Your chance of making mistake is so less. Yeah. Now I did properly. Yeah, because the reason, as you can see, I should have written git remote add. Instead, I uh, had some something different. Okay, great. Now my local repo and the remote repo are connected. What's next? Tell me, what's next? Actually, git is already gave you a code here. Git push your origin master. If you write main, it may not uh, work because after this, the 
uh, Black uh, Lives Matter movement, um, this the master and slave thing has to be stopped. Uh, I mean, they said that has to be stopped and they are changing from master to main, okay? But it's not working for me. So instead of main, you should write master. So git push you origin master, yeah? Uh, so I can... Can I ask you what was, if I haven't done this uh, branch M main, is it, do I need to do that? What it does? Uh, main, what? Uh, this, uh, uh, when they or create a new repository on the command line, do I need to do all these steps if I haven't done what what this branch m main means? Oh, no, no, don't do that. Okay. No, ignore that. Oh, okay. ignore all that we, we have been doing in the rest. Okay. So we will come to that later. Uh, but actually, if you also follow, for instance, if you were not following me, if you uh, do this step by uh, step by step, you may achieve. Okay. So git init and then git commit first and git branch main. If you did that, actually, it may work with main, but let's keep master still. It doesn't really uh, cause that much a problem. Uh, so I'm doing the old way. So I didn't change the master to main yet. So they just changed it just this summer, okay? Uh, now git push you origin master. It means actually I am uploading file or this project will be uploaded. Yeah, let's do it. So, great. Now it says it wants to sign in using GitHub. Yes, yeah, okay. allow, allow. Authorize because I did this, guys. If it uh, asks you permission, allow. Authorize. Uh, those are the uh, the the notification you may receive. No, I received an error message. Uh, from where? From uh, after trying to, to, to do the push you origin master. So what does that, the error say? Uh, CRC ref spec master does not match any. Failed to push some refs to, and then my, my did repository. You add, did you add this line? Yeah. Your line. Uh, the, the, from the from the you create git right yeah uh, but did you do commit did you commit uh, did you do this step oh no might be I missed that yes do, the, you can do again uh, what you do is only the commit and then push okay so I can yeah, all right. I still have my index in red. How can I change to green? Uh, okay, so git add, git add, and then index.html. So that means you didn't add it yet. Yeah, git add index.html. After that, you commit. Now I can just get uh, share with you. So 
oh sorry uh, git add index dot then git commit and um, my first commit um i'm kind of stuck and i think that's because i have in that git lesson folder already one file that's already connected to to a repos repository and i think that that might be the reason why i'm not i'm totally stuck here uh, so what's the problem want to see my desk my my screen <laughs> um, you explain to me that that takes a longer time and the first step that we need to do is get in it right uh, but was it initialized before i guess yeah I did you know. create a new it says no not today but yesterday that one it oh, says okay. re, but I, I renamed it it's not index it's index one that i did now yeah but uh yes it's good i, I understand it so we initialize an existing git repository blah blah yeah Car carola could you please mm -hmm. listen to me mm -hmm. yes uh you only initialize a project once okay no i did not it, wait you <laughs> You initialize a project once, all the time, whenever you have a project? No, you... I used I used index yesterday, and now the new stuff that you created that I just copied, but you're not I called that index, in, uh, didn't understand. index one. Oh, yeah. You didn't... But I cannot get that to, that must, must go to a new repos repository, right? But it complains because maybe it's in the same folder. It's all uh, in good lesson. Could you please listen to me, Carola? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, yeah, it's good to. It's in, instead of speculation, it's better to listen uh, to the the instructor. It, it's it's really very important. So uh, yesterday we've been working together, right? Mm -hmm. So we initialized it. Yes. So if you initialize it once a git repo, it, it, it's, it doesn't need to initialize it again. Mm -hmm. It's all the time. This is, you initialize a git repo once. Mm -hmm. After that, if you create a new or a separate project, a separate folder, mm -hmm. all the time you initialize. So uh, it must be a separate folder, not just a separate file in my folder. I know, I know. I heard that hey, I first see. time when that's you say. Problem. Yeah. I didn't know that this is the problem, so that's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's not the problem. But still, what you can do, for instance, uh, since you want to uh, work today from the scratch, I would recommend you to do this, okay? You have some problem, right? Oh, is, is my problem be solved by creating a branch? What you do will be doing later? Uh, I'm about to tell you a solution if you follow me. Okay. So to fix your problem, mm -hmm. so uh, try to be uh, on uh, uh, remove RF, you write and dot git, write this. Okay, I have in my terminal, two files, I have index and I have index one. In which file am I working now? Because in my index, I created a web page, a totally different one that I did yesterday. And now I initiated an index one where I Can wrote in the me? stuff that you did. Can you share with me? Yeah. That's great. Uh, um, I have to go to Zoom meeting, right? Okay. Um, Did you allow me to? Oh, okay. Yeah, can you? Mm -hmm. Still not? Uh, I think you should. Aren't you, Carola? Yeah, I can't because I don't have it says in German, but you don't you don't activate it so that I can activate. You're blocking me. Uh you need to allow me to share my screen in Zoom. Okay, I did, I did. Try okay. it. No, it's not working. It says you have to allow me to. 
Okay, let's draw a call. Permission I need. Again. How about if you try it again? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, that's my problem. I can see it now. I've created this one yesterday. That's in my repository. Uh -huh. Uh, let me see how it looks. Hmm. Am I sharing now? I'm not sure. Okay. Not sure. I think I should. Yeah, now I think you should see. Uh, I sh you should share. Maybe I didn't. Okay, try it again. Sharing part. I want to share. I want to show this one. So now, okay. Yeah. I created this one yesterday. It's I, my repository. And now I created this one where I put in all the stuff that you said. And then I tried to do this. Yeah, I know. So I, I understood even before that. So the best way now, since you've been uh, working yesterday and since mm -hmm. you are a little bit ahead, and the best way for you would be easy if you destroy uh, what we did yesterday, right? So that would hurt my heart. But uh, okay. Do you have lots of work? Yes. Yeah, see, I just opened it. For you. Uh, okay. So I even put a link of yours in there. Okay. If okay, you, I destroy it. Okay. Uh, no, so no, how no, do I destroy I, it? no. If that's the case, then uh, so what's the problem then you have? So right, just click uh, git status. Can you write git status here? Git. Oh, no, no, no on Why? the terminal. Yeah, so no problem. Just git add uh, space dot dot uh, and one dot enough and enter. Uh, will be replaced. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So git commit, or maybe it's better to see first git status. Let's see what's happening. Git status. Yeah. So mm -hmm. all the files are added, guys. Mm -hmm. I you have uh, when you have many files like this, you can use git dot add then git dot add uh, uh, git uh, add dot will help you to add everything, old files and folders, yeah. So now git commit. Enter? Uh, no, uh, a space and then M, as, uh, hyphen M. And then I think uh, some files added, there should be space again. There should be space. Yes, yeah. and quotation marks, some, some files has been added or whatever. Like this, my first command? No, 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 it's uh, not your first commit. You've been committing many times, right? Okay, Just some, okay. some files have been added. Okay, what is this means actually? This is actually a, a means to, to communicate with other developers or for yourself to, to uh, help you remind what you did. So some files have been at, yeah, enter. Then git push. Just git push is enough now. You don't have to even remember all that. Just git push enter. Because you, you, are, you have been connected already. Yeah, and everything is there again. Yeah, you didn't have any problem. You just, you didn't have any problem. Yeah, I don't know where I am and what I'm doing, but I'm sure this will come after some time. Yeah, but you're doing good. Uh, that's what I know, uh, so it's okay. Let's move on. And uh, your code now is on GitHub. Yeah, can you allow me to share my screen? Uh, Carola? Yes, great. Let's come back. And uh, uh, is there anyone who has the problem? Let's see the chat. Anyone who has a problem? Shall we move on? Yeah, the GitHub says now this 
authorization, I should uh, click sign in into GitHub status bar. I can okay. find that. Yes, allow, allow, or authorize. But where is this signing into GitHub in the status bar? Where I need to copy paste this. Uh, I think open it with, uh, if, okay. There's, you don't have to do that. If you just uh, open it on, uh, it says you get a notification open, right? Click on that okay. or maybe you can share with me and I will show you what's happening. Uh, who is talking now? Are you Chris, Chrissy, right? Yes, Chris, yes, I am. Share with me, make. Uh, share screen. Yes. Okay. Stop mine. Wow, just a minute. Okay. Um. Now. No. Okay, so as you can see, uh, yeah, so just to copy this line of code. Yeah, copy it. This? Yeah. Yeah. And go to the VS code. Yes. And maybe at the bottom there was, uh, or can you do a uh, control shift P? Control shift P. Uh, I have Mac, so I don't yeah, know. Most probably it's the same control shift P, yes. A B, what? P, like P, P. Yeah. Yes, and uh, can you paste that here maybe? Yeah, just enter. Enter. Yeah, nothing happens. Okay, so again, do control shift P. Control shift P. Yeah. Oh, okay, remove that. Like, really mm -hmm. wait, let's see. Uh, okay, what's the step? Copy the token switch back to this code. Uh, in the status bar at the bottom, there should be. Uh, Login, don't you have? Can you scroll down a bit? The uh, this, this is as low as it goes. Oh, okay. There should be at the bottom with it says, uh, yeah, what is that? Uh, Read feedback. Okay, uh, but most of the time, do you see the master in the other side? In the other side of the task bar, there's a master. Have you seen? Mm, I don't understand. You've been at the bottom, the, the left side. If you go to the, the blue, ah, there, yeah, 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 it should be next to uh, the master. It should be there. Can you refresh that by clicking that? Refresh it. Uh, okay. Can you? Okay, yeah. Uh, it should be somewhere around to what is it, would you like to could uh, this is uh, okay yes it doesn't matter it should be here somewhere around or uh, paste token yeah i can i can find it uh, okay so again can you push uh, uh, can you just uh, push again and we will see some difference no here on the command on the terminal. Uh, terminal, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's not the, the, the terminal, terminal, term, that's not the terminal. This, yeah. Yes, then uh, upper row, click the upper row. 
Um, the up arrow. This. No, no, no. From the keyboard. Up arrow. Yeah, click it. Uh, I don't know which. The up arrow is the arrow which is up. Which. Ah, okay. Yeah. Enter. Enter. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think you pushed it all already. Yeah. Yeah, so just go to your uh, GitHub account and your code could be there already. Mm. Yeah, because as you can see, you, you have already pushed it. Yeah, I can see that it's pushed. It's my account here. Yeah, that's good. And if you see, what was the name? Is this the... This is my yeah, remote. Yeah. Click it there. Uh, click on the code. Yeah, it is there already. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, your code is over. So th this wasn't necessary to do it. Yeah, yeah, some some kind of, but it allowed you already. You've been already authorized, but okay. you don't see it. Okay. okay. Yeah, you did great. No okay. problem. Thank you. Yeah. So allow me to share my screen uh, and then let's move on. Uh, stop share. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. It's okay. So let me share my screen. Uh, so do you see guys this screen? Yeah. Okay. So who has a problem? No one. So do do you see your code on GitHub? But I didn't see my my code on GitHub. So let me check if it's already there. So now if I, I refresh this, my code is here on GitHub. Have you seen this is what we wrote, right? Now let's add more content. More content. H2 maybe, H2. Let's add more content on uh, this page. It's enough. And I can write git add and the file name index, git commit, a second commit, git push, u origin master. I am doing the same step. After this, I just do the same step all over again. Yeah, great. Let me see if it's uh, modified. As you can see, it's modified and it's here. Uh, sorry, could you repeat? It was git add, git, git commit. Add, then git push. Okay. Yes. So. And uh, I think the steps you do, git add and then file name, and then git commit followed by message, some message, and then git push you origin master. If you, you can just do this step. These are the only steps you use over and over again. Shall we do the third? H3, this is the third paragraph. And let's do now git add and then index git commit, third commit, git push u origin master. So can you explain what you are doing now? I don't understand why we do this. Okay, so yeah. why we do actually, you modify things, right? Yeah. You modify things, for instance, if you want to recover what you have, mm. you can recover. For instance, when we start this, do you remember what we have? What we have is only this line, right? Mm. If I want to recover this, like now, the file is already modified. So maybe your boss doesn't like what you have now and your boss wants 
you to have what you have in the morning or what you have at some point. So how are you going to get your uh, original version? How can you give, how can you show him? How can you get back in time? That is the menu. So for instance, when you start in the morning, you were with this line, right? Imagine in the morning or at some point, you were with this line, yeah? Yes. Okay, I can return to there. How? Actually, git log. So as you, as you can see, we have different commits. Commit, have you seen the first commit? So commit means changes or? Some changes and yeah. saved. Some changes and saved as a backup. Yeah. So if I want to get if I want to go back in time and get my original, so I, I go to this. So how can I get it? Actually, it has a commit tag, or you can call it this ID. Git check out, and I can use this line. And if I go this, and if you see now, have you seen? Yeah. I want in time and I'm now in the place where, in the place we started. This is the importance of committing. So do you need to always, when you do ch some changes, changes you want to uh, save, you need to write again this commit thing. So yeah. it yeah, major changes, not like minor changes, but major changes. For instance, you are working on the footer or the header of the website, right? Yeah. When you finish the header of the website, mm. header is completed or something. Footer mm. is completed and menu bar is completed. So not just minor little changes, but somehow bigger, not really big, but somehow main changes. Yeah. Yeah. So when, when you write uh, first commit, second commit, third commit, it's like you're saving the project in where it is, where it was in that time. That's true. That's okay. True. But the naming is now. We will now. I will show you. Uh, so. Uh, but the naming should be somehow related to the change. For instance, if you add a header for this website. Mm -hmm. So now, for instance, first I have to, uh, but I mean, someone was asking me this master. You don't see master now anymore. Have you seen it? You see some code because it shows me that now I am not in the master in a state it says head is now at this first commit. So I, I checked it out from the master and I am like floating somewhere. So I have to get back to the master, git check out master. Now I have everything here. So just to answer uh, Kirsi's uh, question properly, let's create a header. And then I will add this part so the header is going to be h1 and git and git have lesson. And now, as you can see, I have added some header here. So I have to give it a very good name, git add index. And the commit message has to be somehow meaningful. Header has been added. Does it make sense now? Sorry, could I ask a question? Uh, wait, um, wait, so what do you think, uh, Chrissy? Kirsi, does it make sense? Does it answer your question? Yes, yes, okay. So do you always need, you always do first git add index and then git commit hyphen m and, C, and the yes. Uh, title? Yes, that's the command you need all the time. Okay. You don't change it. Get okay. that, followed by the name of the file, not index, but the name of the file. It could be about or whatever. And then git commit followed by M and followed by the message. Yeah? 
Yeah, okay, okay. So that... Who asked me a question? Yes? Yes, yes, sorry. Um, I, I accidentally, I wrote, um, I forgot to add the message. So I only wrote git commit, I pressed enter. Yeah. And now I'm kind of stuck. I don't know, something weird happened. Are you using terminal? Yes, on the terminal. Are you using Mac? Yes. Uh, okay, sometimes I don't. Are you, are you Carola? No, Anna. Oh, okay, sorry. So you can use the uh, control C. Can you write control C? Um, um, I don't know. Something. Oh, write control C. There's like, when I press control C, mm -hmm. I can see like on the bottom row, there's a type. QA and press enter yeah. to abandon all changes. Wait. Uh, so when you write that, you should see, I, I will write it here, colon, uh, Q, QA. It, do you see at the bottom something like this? No, oh, I didn't write it yet. Do you see some colon yes. QA? Yes. Can you write that properly? Colon Q A exclamation. And enter. Oh, OK. I think that fixed it. Great. OK, thank you. Let's go on. Remember, that will happen again. And write this somewhere. The first thing you do, control plus Control plus uh, uh, C, and then followed by this, uh, and then enter. It will happen. If Mac users, if you don't put the message, the commit message, uh, that will happen now and then. So now we have been doing, okay, let's do another also commit, maybe footer. We can add footer, this uh, copyright. Tuny tuny, something like this. And then we can add git add and then index.html and git push you um I'm sorry, git commit. Git commit. And so I can say uh, what's the what's the change I made? A footer has been added. So as you can see now, my uh, commit message makes sense, right? Hmm? Yeah, it should, be, it should be related to what we do. Now let's just git push you origin master to push it. Git push means just upload, okay? The word they use is somehow very, I mean, very difficult instead of push why they don't call it upload and to make it easy. Anyway, you and I understand push by uploading. So everything we did is here. And actually the commits, uh, to see the number of commits, uh, what are the commits we made? Let's click on here. Uh, have you seen the commits? The first commit, the second commit, third commit, uh, header, header has been added, a footer has been added. If you click this, you see the original content you have. This is what we had at the first time, right? And then on top of that, it was the second commit. The second commit has the second line. And if you see the green is actually, this is the added content. This was the original and this is the added content. And let's go to the uh, third, not this one. And if you see, this is the added content, yeah? And if you see header has been added, and if you see header has been added actually uh, on this one, and uh, this part is the thing we has, we added, but did we add something else here? Did we change something? Uh, this uh, has been removed, but let me see what I have now. Head, head, anyway. So, yeah, and now let's see the footer and it has 
only the footer is the green part, the one which is added. So to see the full version, because you just click this and you see everything. Yeah. So it's the means to have a backup. You are just resaving in case the fire burn everything and you have the backup there. Okay. So don't put anything on your computer. Whenever you work, just push it on GitHub. Someone steal your computer, something happened. You may forget your computer somewhere, but if you push it on GitHub, everything is on GitHub and you are safe. Your work will be on GitHub and you don't have to redo uh, the thing you did already. Does it make sense? Now, do you understand the purpose of GitHub? Just type one if you got it, why you use it. The, let's see who got their main purpose of GitHub. Imagine you never know a fire may happen. You never know you may lost your computer on a, a plane or a bus or somewhere on a holiday somewhere. But if you push everything you have on GitHub, you are safe all the time. That's the one of that's one of the main purpose. What's the second purpose? To collaborate. For instance, Motomi from Japan can work with you here in Finland and you can collaborate on the same project. So for collaboration, for storage, for control, for version controlling. Version controlling means you can have different version of your project. Yes. Does it make sense? Do you think it's a very important tool? Is it only for yeah. developers? It's the question I want to ask now. Is it, do you think it's only for developers? Everyone wants to do some code. Yeah, but if you are dealing with the code, is you already are a developer almost. <laughs> okay, for yeah. developers. Yes, but if you are dealing, if you are dealing with some kind of, you don't have to be like a really like, but if you are dealing somehow with coding, you are almost a developer. But after this course, you are a kind of a developer, guys, after this course also. Okay, it could be for non-developers, for author, if you are an author, if you are a writer, for instance, uh, literature, someone who writes uh, uh, Japanese or Chinese or English, if you're an author, you can use it. Maybe it might be difficult for them to, to, to deal with this, uh, but if they get a proper Git lesson, I believe this is a very, very good tool for writers, yeah? So they can have different version of their uh, lit, uh, literature or a literature or uh, their poem or whatever they write, they can handle different versions in an elegant way. Yeah, so it can be used out of the uh, IT domain also. Yeah, I would have a question. If uh, in the um, in the hub we can only see our our coding. Is there an option to push some button and to actually see like the web page or? That's if... smart. I got it. We will come to that soon. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yes, she's interested. She's about to deploy and want to share her work to the world. Yeah, is that what you want? Just to know how it works. <laughs> yes, that's what you want. Yes, and we will have an, a URL by the end and everybody will manage to have his work on the internet and it will be shareable to anyone you want for a friend or a family. Yes, we will come to that very, very soon. Okay, now let's keep writing more codes. How about our website is so poor, let's have an additional code about .html. Yeah, please follow me and do everything what I do. When I get faster, you may tell me to slow down. So the same lazy way, H, can we have a break? Oh yes, that's a very good, uh, I will generate this and we will have a break for five minutes. It's a short break, okay. Uh, 
Uh, guys, don't write me privately and just write it on public. There's no a very secret message, uh, secret here. Okay, yeah. So, and um, uh, maybe if you open the private channel, I most probably paste something on the private channel and it will be hidden for a single person. So just write it on the public channel. Okay, so HTML and then the second one, have you seen you can use the arrow button, uh, uh, key up and button. And so the middle one, yes. So what you change is about me or about us? About me, yes, me, me, me. Then H1, so about me. And we're going to have a break. So uh, guys, how about if we have a five minute break or even shorter and we will be back uh, 20 past eight. Is that, uh, yeah? Shall we? Yes. Great. See you soon, guys. Yes, Cecil, we're about to... Uh... Oh, could you please just turn off your mic, guys? Uh, okay. Let me figure out. Okay, thank you. So about page. So do you remember P? Let's use P and Lorem Epsom. And we have, so this text is all about me. Let's imagine. And uh, we have this. Yeah. And sometimes maybe I'm also interested to create another file, you know. Contact.html. So again, the lazy way, HTML and this one. And I call this also contact, contact, the title and here H1, contact me please. No, no, just contact. It sounds so desperate, right? Okay, so now I have how many files? Uh, many files. So even I may have another folder, yeah? If I have a folder, maybe assets. And if I have assets and inside the, as the, the assets, maybe I can add image. For instance, my image was somewhere around. I can uh, put that image actually. I can put there and uh, where is this image? And I can put it here, I'm moving it. So inside the assets, even I can create another folder, images, and inside images, I may click this and then put it there. Yeah. So if you have any image, it could be a cat or a dog or a flower, just uh, create assets inside assets, images inside images, you can put this. I'm just, you know, and then the reason why I'm doing this actually, if I, have, if I have to git add, so what I'm going to do is, now I did lots of changes, right? Yeah, many changes, how am I going to add? So whenever you have lots of changes, what you should do is git add uh, index.html, change it about.html, contact, something like that. But actually this is so tedious. You can use just git add dot. This is so easy. That means add everything, add all. Yes, now let's see, git status. As you can see, everything is green. That means it's added. Now let's see git, uh, um, git commit. Uh, some uh, files, I think it's better to use double quote. Some files has been added. Yes, now again, git push u origin master. So let's go to this uh, 
where is it? Uh, this file and check if I have my folders and everything, my folders. And if I check my image, I think this is the image that looks like me when I am hungry. Yes, and uh, yes, yes, yes. This is all the files you, you have on local machine. Could you please scroll up a bit so you can see what you wrote? Uh, okay. Actually, it's just that I would have created this one. Or no, no, in the terminal, the commands. Oh. I just, I don't know them yet. Uh, the same thing. After this, we do the same thing. The same thing means uh, I can go back and paste for you. This is what you need is first I did git add and dot and then git commit and some message and some files have been added and git push u origin master. Those the three comments. Yeah. Okay. So if you remember uh, now, let's, so what we did is actually, uh, we managed to, uh, we managed to uh, push everything here. Can we modify things from here? Can we just copy something and modify? For instance, let me uh, co uh, go here. And have you seen this pattern? I think before I do this, are you on the same page, guys? I have to give you some time. And today I will penalize you by 15 minutes. So we will finish the lesson by uh, nine. Is that okay? Because we spend quite of the lot debugging your code. Yes, it's okay. Okay, great. Yeah, it's just, you know, in these seven weeks, just to help you learn or to cover what you sh what you sh supposed to cover. Uh, it's not just, uh, yeah. So are you on the same page before I move on to the next? Uh... Can, can I ask you why I don't see uh, the other changes in the GitHub? The first commit, it doesn't, it's not there. Oh, it is, yeah, you have to click here. The, do you see your name here? Yeah. Click it there. Oh, okay. And there. then you see them here. Yeah. Yes. Even I don't see, if you see, I see only the last. Yeah, okay. Actually, I can see also here a footer has been added. Why? Because when I was adding this, I didn't touch this one. So the commit message, this one should be the same, the, the, the one we had. So, but this has been added and I used the, the some files has been added commit message for all this. Okay, so are you on the same page guys? So shall we modify this from the, from GitHub? Can, first question, can I modify this from here? Is it allowed? Is that okay? No. Why not okay? Why yes? You can't destroy some other's work? Uh, no, this is, this, uh, this is a possibility you as a author or as in a, you can only, if this account is yours. Yeah, it's possible. For instance, you, you don't have your computer on your mobile, on, on, you, you can even edit this on your mobile phone. So you saw something really bad. So you don't really like give it some time, you know, you want to fix it. You are uh, in rush and you want to fix it. So you don't have to go home and work, I mean, fix it from your computer instead on any device. It could be from your mobile phone or anything. You click here and modify, yeah? So let me do something H3. 
let me let me modif modify this from the GitHub. And is it really possible? Why not? So of course, it's possible. Possible. Okay. So and I'm just uh, closing it, and then I go down. As you can see, it has commit. Uh, some changes. Uh, some quick changes, some uh, quick uh, fix or change, some fixes, and then commit. As you can see, it's uh, here added. Okay, now I modified it from here. Do you think what I have here and what I have here the same? No, you have to push it. What do I push? You need to go to Git and ask for the new version. Yeah, so you're right. But instead of push it, actually, is pulling it. You... Pull it sorry. Yeah. Hello? Someone, someone said something. So instead, pulling it. So Git, let's see what we have now this. We don't have that file and that line, right? But let's try git pull. Have you seen? Who saw when I am pulling it? Who saw the change? Who managed to? Did you see the change? Yes. Yes. Great. So now I pulled it. So that means what I have on the local machine and what I have on the remote server on GitHub, this Git repo are the same. So you can, but remember, if I did push before pulling, that we call it conflict. So you have to resolve the conflict and that's another issue and process. Try to avoid conflict as much as possible because sometimes conflict is so messy. And if you have, uh, yes, so avoid it as much as possible. So if you are working with someone with, uh, uh, with um, somewhere, I mean, who lives in Japan or the US. So first, when you work with the same project, what you should do, git pool. And then if there is new, you get all the new. If there is no, already up to date, that means nothing to pull. What I have here and what is on the remote is actually the same. Great. So now let's make our website a bit beautiful. So because we are about to deploy it. So as you can see, this is what I have. So boring, right? Yes, and let's make it a bit uh, attractive and also then deploy it on GitHub and you will be able to share with people, right? So I think instead of this Git, uh, Git and GitHub lesson. So instead now, instead of just this, let's write something. What did you learn? It's also a means to recap, right? Uh, Git and GitHub. So uh, I can just say, what is GitHub? Why is that? GitHub. What is Git? So I can just write uh, this. GitHub is a version control software. Yeah. And again, P is some basic git commands and i want to use you an ordered list you are common with that right list for instance first you have to do git in it yeah that means initializing and what you do then list and then git add and then the name of the file name of the file name file name. It could be one or many file names. And then another you learn. What did you learn another? Git commit followed by a message flag and the message. Message of yes. And then another you learn. We have to connect our Git, uh, local Git to remote. So Git 
remote add origin and git uh, remote then url url of the remote github and then what is the other i want someone to tell me instead of me talking all the time i want others to talk why me 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 talking all the time tell me guys what's the next word push git push you origin master so push means it's not just a, like it's a jargon word and it's care people right but we agreed that push means it's like add uh, no git push means it up uh, uh like up upload yes yeah just upload yes it's just another fancy word to scare people they call it push but it's actually is to mean upload something these are the basic commanders you and then actually if you made something from the github itself you can update the local by doing what pull yes you we can pull and make the similar so sometimes if you have a different branch you may go to git pull branch name and git pull branch name because Can we explain what that branch means branch means for instance now i'm coming to that i will show the so since now we are in the master you see only one branch now let's create a different branch by the way how do we create a branch uh git branch and followed by but first let's see if there is no any change git status okay there is some change first let me uh, finish this one and i will save that list and then git branch followed by branch branch name okay what is branch name someone asked me uh, uh, have you seen uh, guys uh, facebook changed it is a ui and linkedin also changed its ui right it's user interface right now the look of uh, linkedin is a bit different like since last month facebook also changed have you noticed that Oops. yeah yep yes so maybe for instance if the customers or the clients do not like the change the new change do you think it takes long time uh, for facebook to go back into the previous no because they have different branch so a different version so let's create a different branch of the software. It could be now git a branch and we can create first version, second version, whatever, version uh, one, for instance. Yes, I created a branch. So what I have already is copied to version one, by the way. So let's stay, let's see git branch will show me list the list of the branches i have how many branches do i have now one two two branches well, yeah two yeah the master, the master and, and the version one the version one where am i at now right now at master because it's highlighted at the same time this the star shows you that at where i am at the master instead this show me that i am the at the master okay so now how do i go to the version one okay git checkout and version one as you can see now have you seen this change to version one yes and if you write also git branch actually this is highlighted instead of the master so now i want to push this git push u origin am i going to say master no then version, version one version one if i do master what will happen 
I will update the master instead of creating a new version. Let's do this. What? What? Oh yeah, have you seen? I made a mistake. What's the mistake? When something happens like this, don't be scared. Read it, guys. That's the only solution. So fat origin does not appear to be a Git repository. Did, have you seen it doesn't say origin because I made a typo here. Yes, git push you origin master. When you learn from YouTube, you don't see such kind of minor and you don't see it. just everything is just really smooth. It looks very smooth and sharp. And no, we made mistakes, lots of mistakes. And when we made mistakes, we try to debug it. Or if we don't manage to debug it, we search a solution on the internet and that's how we solve it. And now it's going well, and I am pushing it. After a couple of seconds, it will be on GitHub. And let's check it. And it should be here. And then I will ask you, uh, let me just make it uh, bigger and see something. How many branches do you see now, guys? Um, two branches. Yes, two um, branches. But um, so you're going a bit fast. Could you show again the how do we add the branch? Yes, I will open and I will also write the code. Uh, so I think I wrote actually first git branch, git branch, and then version one. And then what I wrote, git check out. Version one. And then git push you origin. Uh, instead version one. Yes, this is what I made. Um, sorry, I can't, I can't really see. Where did you write this? Okay, uh, guys, stop really writing private message and uh, uh, it's better to make it public. Uh, sorry, it's your opening, guys. Uh, yes, thank you. Now I, you should see it. Oh, thank you. How did you open when you want to see this on the browser? Just git branch, git branch. But how do you, when you want to see how it looks in the uh, internet browser? Okay, on the GitHub. Yes, I'm coming to that first. Uh, I have to be on this page. Others who will have a chance to see. Guys, I also wrote it on the chat channel. You will see it there. So have you seen the two branches here? Yes. That's great. So by default, what do you see? The master. And then when you click like this, the version one. Yes. Okay. So as you can see, version one, this, let's see, is there anything modified here? What have you seen? I don't have what I wrote here. Why? Uh, I don't have this, this list. Why I didn't see the, have you seen it? You didn't add it. You didn't add it? No, you, you created a new version. You mm -hmm. created a new branch, but you didn't add before you created a new branch. Yes, that's a very good answer. I, we didn't do uh, the add step in the committing step. So the new modification is still floated, you know? It's just, it's not uh, yet there. It's not added yet. So now I can add git add. I can go just this with step. You can add the index or you can use this. Uh, from now on, just go for this one. This is easy. Just git add and dot. Git commit 
m sum uh, git uh, not has been added. Yeah, we added git not, right? It's not, some notes about GitHub, right? Yes, and now git push u origin. Uh, tell me, master, what am I doing? No, version one. Yes, version one. Remember, if you don't do that, if you just master, you will mix different branches. So avoid doing that. So now I will go and refresh. Yes, it is here. But if you go to the master, the master is lagging behind. It doesn't have what version one has. Have you noticed? So you can create different versions. Have you noticed this? This is the master, the master index. And if you go to the version one index, you see this and it has more. How did you open that? You can see the code. How no, did you this open? master. Okay, okay, now I'm in the master, right? Let's yeah. see, I am on the master and then I'm clicking this. So oh, to switch okay. between, just click the version one and then this. And then again, to switch to the master, it will be switched to that. And what happens if we push that compare and pull request button? Well, uh, okay, this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Yes, that's the very green one. Yeah. Yes. Now, if you click here, which says had recent push one minute ago. So compare, it says. Actually, now, as you can see, we are comparing version one and the master. So I can, uh, the branch can be automatically merged. That means, have you seen this sign? This is going to be merged to the, the master. I can do two things. I can merge it from here, or I can merge it with this. Okay, so just by clicking this, create pull request, I do and then it will be merge it. So merge it, that means I am making it similar. So it's merge it. Now, if I go to the master, the master will be the same as the branch. Have you seen? It's just a way of merging. And, but as you can see, we did it from remote, from GitHub. So, but my, my master is not the same as what I have there. So what do I do? I have to go, pull it. Pull it, yeah. So git checkout to the master and then git pull. Yes, the change has been pulled. So I don't have to commit anything. So git status, nothing to, to commit. Great. Okay, now I think you guys, so what did we see? Merging, merging from a remote, but we can merge it also from here. Now let's move again to the version one. How do I go to the version one? Git, check out version one. And now let's modify this one again. What did we learn? Another thing, let's add. We learn also uh, git uh, merge uh, from the, we will learn soon, but we learn also that from remote. Actually, it's also good to learn to know that git branch allows you to see different branches. Mm, even we will learn how to destroy or delete uh, git. Uh, uh, GitHub branch. 
Okay, now it's already new, right? I mean, so git status, git add, git commit, some git command has been added, right? I, I have added already. So git push you origin and master, am I right? No. No, because I'm in the version one. So it should be version one, yeah? Yes. Carol asked me, like, now again, it might be some message here. Let me refresh it uh, in the branch. Oh, it should be there. Uh, okay, maybe here. I don't see that. So now let me check first this. This is what we have. This is the older one. And let's open the version one. This has this much. So this is, but why don't, I don't see the uh, pull request now. Pull request. Uh, most of the time it comes by itself when there's some change, but I don't see it now. If you don't see it, you can do by yourself pull request. New pull request, and then you can compare this. Choose different branches or fork up to this. But now I want you to do it for all from here, actually. How do we merge it? First, I have to check out git checkout to master. Now, as you can see, this master is a bit behind. I didn't have the lines I wrote. So this I git merge. What do I merge? Tell me. The version. <laughs> And they see now the change. Yes, git merge has been added now. So you see also the after this, you should push it git push you origin to where? To where? To master. To master because you want to have a different branches in case something happened maybe your boss maybe do not like the new version or you want to or your clients do not so you want to have a different version yes that's why we call it version control great and uh, carola was interested to generate some uh, url from this and how can we generate go to settings do you see these settings even though our website is so ugly, we can still make website out of this. Okay, can you see the settings? Go to the settings and it may ask you maybe a, a password. If, if it asks you a password, just put the password. You should remember that and then go all the way down, down, down and here, GitHub pages. Now even GitHub is getting so smarter, you can even use a custom domain. So instead of none, you go for master. And then you, what you do is actually save. We didn't do much, right? What I did actually is I changed this to a master and click the save button and then it generate this line. So I open this line and now it shows like 404, but after some point, it will give me some, some website. So I have to wait for it. In the meantime, let's practice, let's uh, practice something else. Okay, great. So now we are in the home page. Let's connect the home page and the about page. We learned that this uh, UL, do you know UL? So, and we can also write list, and this is the home page, and this is the 
about page and this is going to be contacts page right so if you go here now i have home contact something but you know it looks like uh, it, it doesn't have a link so i have to have a link you know how to create a link right so to create a link last time you learn you need a and then href so I have to put this one here, inside here. So where do I like home? The home should be the index itself. So dot slash index page dot HTML itself. And then this one, the about page. So I have to create a dot about about and if it's a contact should just create a contact uh, a and tab dot contact and then here contact all right i have to give you some time um sorry what what is it you did a and tab yes what <laughs> a tab enough um anything you want to generate for instance h2 tab enough uh if you want to create a a and then tab okay sorry so i um the so letter a yes tab then tab what is tab is um is the same center right what center the tab, uh, the, in an uh, English keyboard, the tab. So I will show you on the internet how a tab looks like. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Keyboard. Uh, uh, a tab is a, uh, this one is the tab. The two arrow go. No, 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 this one, the tab is on the, uh, this, this, have you seen it? Yeah, on my keyboard is like two arrow going uh, opposite side. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think this. Yeah, that's true. Actually, yes, the two arrow, uh, the one is to the left, one is to the right. Yeah, because we can use that the tab arrow sometimes to the left, and sometimes to. Uh, uh, yeah, that's true. For instance, if you use uh, tab tab, this is tab. That means four space. Uh, yeah. Okay, shift, thank you. Shift tab, it get it back. Shift tab. Yeah, tab, four space at once. Okay, so uh, to generate a tab, it creates that for you. That's a shortcut, lazy way. Of course, you can write it something like this. Why not? A and then href and this. And then whatever you want here, some text. And now you are generating a link. Well, I'm waiting for you until you write this, but you don't have to. I just copy and share with you here and you will be on the same page. And at the same time, I'm making you so lazy. Yes. Okay, great. So let's see the output now. I think we are running out of time, but we should really fix this. As you can see now, I have this about page. Yeah, about me, it's connected. And contact, the contact doesn't have anything. So let's add something on the contact page. Okay, contact. Uh, I can just be, uh, I lorem, Epsom, uh -uh. lorem and then tab, uh, I have something on there. But as you can see, there is no, so as you can see here, we have a footer, right? The footer should go the same, so I can add at the about page. The header should be also, the header should be also the same in every page, right? So a website in some, in most website, the header is the same. And in the contact also, I just paste this. Yeah, and again, I have to go to the 
footer, the footer should be also the same, a kind of website. Now, if we go here, uh, this is the home page. Oh, oh, it looks it has a footer and it has some kind of a uh, header and the nav navigation. Uh, it's the home. The home doesn't go anywhere. About this, the about page again, and this the contact. So let's deploy this again to a GitHub. So I am at the master, as you can see now. You know what master means, what branches. You know what push and pull is. You are a Git ninja. So Git add instead of adding a file name, what's better to do now? Just tell me because we're running out of time and we have to do it faster. What's name? What? Dot. Dot, because why? To add everything. Yeah, because we made quite a lot of changes and we even don't know. So the best way to do is just git add dot, allow us to add everything, everything modified. So everything is add git, commit, and last, I think, uh, uh, a structured, I call it structured. We have been structuring it, right? Git commit and structured and git push you origin master. Yes. So now let's check our website, how it looks like. Where was it? It, it says it's still it's found, so we have to refresh it. Oh, really? Okay, let's get back and see again, maybe it works. Please work for me. Oh, it worked for me. I'm so lucky, right? So I can share with you, you can do the same. I think this will be the end of the lesson for today. Why not? Yeah, I think we have covered almost what we need. What's left actually is cloning. Maybe if you allow me to continue, we can finish Git and GitHub today. And that might take additional 15 minutes. Uh, so what do you think about that? Just write to me on the comment. And what do you think? Can we continue for uh, 15 minutes and just get done with this, the so-called Git and GitHub? Or are you just done? Yes. So I think you guys are so awesome and you are at high energy level and you would love to continue. And what we can do is actually uh, continue. So the second step, I want you to go to this file and what you do is actually clone, clone it. So open this and clone it. How do you clone? I will show you. So to clone, I have to uh, go to my desktop. If I clone it over here, I have the same file because as you can see the, uh, let me take you, I'm just going nuts. So yeah, uh, the name of, yeah, actually it's different. Yeah, I can clone it. The name is actually Git Lesson Winter. So have, when you click here, click and then copy. Yeah, when you click here, that means you are copying it. So git bash and then git, uh, not git, uh, cd desktop, go to the desktop and then git clone and paste. Paste means the one I, I copied it there, this line. And then I managed to cloned this, this. What does that mean, clone? Actually copy my project. So I want you to, instead of working on your project, I want you to work on the cloned one, this. And you open it, you can open it like this, add, and then uh, where is it? Git. Uh, the name was well, it has some winter thing, right? Yeah, this one. And then modify it, modify something and push to um, push to my repository. Just push it, then I will receive a git request. A pull request. Yeah, it might sound a bit complicated, I know. First what you should do. Again, I will repeat what I did. 
you go here, copy, and then you go to desktop, or I uh, first I can close this one. Uh, git bash, and then cd desktop. Yes, and then git clone, and this. I am not going to do it twice because I did it already. This means actually copying it on the desktop. Then you will have it. I had it already, so it is here. Uh, where was it? I think we do have lots of files over here, so I have to just delete uh, and then I will not be confused. Uh, this one. And it has been also already uh, opened here, as you can see. Now, your task will be, for instance, you can add your name here. You can write, I am someone, and I'm doing a pull request. If I were you, you can write B, I am Carola, um, doing a pull request test. And then after that, you commit, git add commit, git add dot, and then git commit with the message, so with some message, with some message, and then git push and check what will happen. Um, how did you open it on VS Code? I'm sorry, but I can't find open. Oh, okay, so yeah, you may not see. Uh, let me, uh, but you managed to clone it, right? You clone yes, it. Yes, yes. Yeah, I removed it. Click on this this black nice surface. Do you see this black area? Yeah. All, all this, even you can click it here. Add folder to workplace and then you want to open, for instance, in my case, I think it's going to be this one. And then it will come here. Um, no, I, uh, no, there's. What? No, there's no option for me to. When you right click here on this black surface. Mm -hmm. Okay, if that doesn't work, let's do it another way. Then you go file and then add folder to workplace. File. Oh, okay. File, add folder to workplace. Okay, thank you. Now I can. Okay, Please. right. Uh, sorry, can you repeat the command to clone your oh, file? This is. So you go to this on the desktop, git clone. Actually, when uh, git clone, and you should go to my uh, repository uh, here, and you should check not yours mine because you are you are about to contribute on this on this uh, repository and then you add this line i have to share with you guys because copy and so easy this is the line you write guys no need to change git copy the one i shared on the chat channel and make use of it and you will have the yeah, but sometimes it's good to figure out by yourself. The more you, uh, the more you copy, the less you get. And also sometimes when you try to figure out by yourself, it will be hard to do it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is just a uh, wrong something wrong. What is this? Anyway, but it's cloned already. So, but if you don't manage to uh, finish it. Uh, today, I think that's, you know how to clone and sorry, but can I do this part later? Of course, yes. This is just additional thing and fancy things. Now uh, you are not more than just a simple Java and HTML developer. I'm trying to help you to be uh, someone who can collaborate, work on GitHub and a lot of things, of course. Lots of things at once might be very difficult to learn. And I would recommend you to repeat this video. It might be uh, longer, but it's uh, it worth it to repeat this uh, video. And when we make mistakes, also tolerate that mistake and try to 
uh, check how we figure out when we uh, make mistakes. That's how you learn. Yeah, and there's no any way, there's no any shortcut to be a developer. Uh, usually take it uh, uh, slowly and in your own pace. It's not a sprint, rather it's a marathon, a step by step, yeah? But you are really doing good, guys. So in another time, we see other features of GitHub. GitHub is not as small as uh, this, but it could be even much larger. If you could manage, try to push something and add to this, okay, at home. I think for today, it's enough. Again, uh, I would say thank you so much for the patience and for your motivation for uh, tag along from the beginning to the end. I can see that certain people for four hours, that is really awesome. Yeah, I have to stop the recording. And if you have anything to say, uh, you can add after that.